we're doing some math. Oh boy. Well, I went and I wanted to find out how much per sheet this is. So we're going to start off by going to, where are we? Huh. Really don't make that smaller. Here we are. How much does a sheet of paper call cost? Okay. We're going to make this a little easier. Okay. That's more or less where we're at. Okay. So this right here is a discussion of how much per sheet is this bounty. How much did I pay for this? $13. How many rolls are there? Four rolls. Now we have to figure out the cost per roll. That's where we go over to here. Bing. Is that funny? There we go. So we put the 13 and then we put the four rolls. Who wants to assist me? It's kind of fun. Well, if you don't want to assist me, at least let's fill it out. We said that 4 times 3 is 13. So what do I write under here? Quatre fois trois. Quatre fois trois. Fait douze. Okay, so we have 13 minus 12. How much? We got one. And then we bring this down. Now, how many fours are in 11? Janaya, how many fours in 11? That's okay. You, you, I, I got two. There you go. And notice this dot goes right there. Good. So that makes eight. And I got three left over. How many fours in 30? Four times five. Four times six. Four times seven. How much is four times five? Quatre fois cinq. C'est combien? Vingt. Quatre fois six. Four times six. Fritz. Four times six. Vingt-quatre. Quatre fois sept. Four times seven. Hi. How are you doing? Let's see. Let's see, how do we do this? Hi, this is McCray. How can I help you? Hey, that's, uh, I'm going to give him three push ups. Yep, just three. He said that's on. I didn't copy that. Are you sending me a student? Student. I don't know how to use this very well. Could you repeat? It would be so much easier if you just came over here. Thank you very much for the warning. I look forward to seeing the student. Okay. So now we've got how many fours in 30? Seven. So there's my cost, cost per roll. Let's go see what we can do with that. Bing! So that right there is my cost per roll. And this is called one of the most boring practices that anybody has seen. But it's kind of fun to watch a teacher make typing errors. When in fact, who's in the room right now? Tell me. Who's this guy? It's another adult in the room. He knows how to read. He can look at this, come to a conclusion, 
oh my gosh, there's a connection between these two books. Because that guy and that guy happens to be that guy. And you know what I like about adults like him? He actually opens books. It stuns me. Now, we're going back to this. Um, how many sheets are there? You ready to catch? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, Mr. Bell. So we got 87. What's this say here? Diviser le coût d'une rôle. I, I misspelled roll there. Par le nombre de feuilles. Okay. So I have to divide 327 by this. And then we're going to find out how much each sheet is. So we got 327 and 87. Let's try that now. Goodbye. Goodbye, new. And we don't want to save it. Yeah, we do. Great. Okay, so I think it was 327. Remember, you got to do like this. And there's 87. Who wants to stand up and do this? Well, I'm going to ask that wonderful reader to do so. So, I have a question. Yeah. Numbers behind the decimal, decimal point, why do they say 27 instead of 27? Exactly, 2.7. I really should say, you know, $3.27. But you could say 3.27. If this was just a number. So why not say 3.27? I could, but right now, this is money. I love money. Okay. So I need 87 sheets divided by 3.27. So, so what one sheet is for, is, is for $3.27? No, no, no. 87 sheets. Is for $3.27. Right. So you want to find the cost of one. Yes, exactly. Um, that right. Yeah. So... We can look right here. It's not going to work, right? We can't get 87 in here. So I'm going to put two zeros. I've got to get up to here. So if I've got two times 87, Miss Addenbury, four times, uh, sorry, two times seven. Then two times eight. Two times eight, 16, add one. 17. Way off. I'm sorry, that's not gonna work. I'm, I'm wanting you to guys to see that we can find pretty quickly that that's not gonna work because I, if this was a zero here, this would be 320, an extra. So I'm gonna go with three. It looks like it's gonna be about three cents. Zero point three seven five to be exact. Oh wow. Zero point three seven five. Well, you know. Look at that. It's really close. I'm gonna say it's about that. So it's about three cents. We're gonna go with three cents. I like it. Yeah. Let's go with three cents. Yeah, we like three cents. Come on, where are we going here? We want to go there. Go, 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 go. Apologies to the audience. Oh, there it is, right there. No, that's not it. There we are. So this turned out to be three dollars. And oh no, it's zero point oh three one, which is about three cents. There we go. So the cost of one sheet is 0 0.3. Here we are, 0 0.03. Now, the next part I wanted to go with, I want to calculate. How can I do one sheet and how many napkins? Because I could get six little napkins for six cents. 
how many napkins equals the same cost? Well, they have a pretty easy approach here. The cost of the paper towel was 0 0.03. And, the, and so we got one sheet. That's the cost of the paper towel sheet. And the cost of six, six of these napkins equals 0 0.06. So, and so that, that's basically the idea that if I take three napkins, it's going to be the same as Come here. There you go. Cost of a sheet is three cents. Six napkins is six cents. So I can change this to be three napkins is three cents. And that's basically what I have to do. I can take one of these. Okay. Look at that. And if I take three little napkins, this is the same as three little napkins. I'd rather be using this because it's stronger. And that's the end of our practice. Thank you very much for watching. And why did it take half an hour? I don't know. Okay. See you when you return.